look, I'm literally gone for no more than half a minute, maybe a minute, and this lazy bum's already taking a nap. I mean, that's super cool, because back in the day of the N64, that's actually really cool, but Luigi would never sleep on the top. Look at this lazy bum, come on, man. I actually kind of wish I, I hit the record button earlier because he was talking in sleep, talking about Mamma Mia and wanting ravioli. It was pretty funny. Anyway, wakey wakey, it's time to save some Toadstool. Or Princess Toadstool. And I will forever call her Toadstool, not Peach. And it's cool. This is what I was saying in the last episode of if I want to fight that Womp guy again, I just go back and hit Womp. But see, if I hit number two, I go to the there, you're not going to see Mr. Womp guy. And you'll see when I go up there. It's, uh, yes! I think I'm finally starting to get this crowd. Oh my gosh, Earthquake! <laughs> That's freaking creepy. That is, uh, again, imagine you're Mario and your world just starts shaking like that. And you're about to fall. Oh, fancy, fancy. You already know. Let's beat that awesome graphic dude again. And let's beat this awesome graphic dude again. Mamba Mia, I want ravioli. See, look at that. The Womp Guy is gone. The womp Guy who builds all our houses and uh, builds all our mouses. He's gone. And I'm stuck left with this fortress. I think that. What's the. T oh, shoot. Hey, look, it's Bullet Bill. Aaron Ammo. Um, clever shot. Or Steven shot. Uh, uh, Bullet Bill. It's Bullet Bill. I, I was trying to be clever. But that wasn't clever at all. Uh, Gunfire Greg. In fact, I think this is the only time you're going to see a Bullet Bill in this game. In Mario Party and my like, Captain Toad. and I, I say Captain Toad because I recently played Captain Toad with the, with the Captain on this channel, actually. You go ahead and check that out. We see a lot of Bullet Bills. Super Mario 3D World, I just beat that or I beat most of it. My little sister saw a lot of bullet bills there. Not so much anywhere else. I mean, in this game specifically. Number three, shoot into the wild blue. Oh, I actually don't like this one. This one's really hard. It's one of the... Out of the 15 worlds in this game, I would say this is probably top five hardest. And maybe it's not that hard. And I just suck at the cannon. Actually, I'm just going to go with that. It's not that hard. I just suck with the cannon. Oh my gosh, I'm not punching you. I want to be your friend. I want to talk to you. It's funny, punch and talk are the same button. Can you imagine going up to your friends in real life and you want to talk to them instead of talking to them? Just saying, hi, how you doing? Pow! Punch him right in the face. <laughs> That'd be freaking hilarious. Hi, I'm, my name is Simply Kish and I'm here for the job interview. What's your name, Mr. Boss? Pow! <laughs> Dude, that's all bad. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Shooting into the wild blue is this. That's the wild blue. Not sure how wild it is. Not sure why it's called blue. Let's see if I can hit myself on that back pillar. And yes. Ah, oh, dang it. Let's see. Yep. And when I die, I get to get shot back off of the shot back out of the painting, right back in. It's not like I have to read through, go through a whole bunch of different. What do you call it? I'm not to the beginning of the castle. I don't have to do any little uh, tricks to get back to where I am. It's that simple of, hey, just enter the world again. That's pretty cool. Do I have to talk to him again? No, I don't. So let's just jump straight to it. It says I have three lives left, but in reality, I have four because I could play while I have zero because I have three, and then I lose when I go down to two, and then I lose when I go down to one, and then I lose when I'm at zero. I can still, yeah, you know what I mean. But let's hope I get it this way. I was a little bit too on the left, so let's see if this one will work. And... Oh, right on the pole, right on the pole. I'm so glad you guys saw that. Is it Mario on the pole? And I need to get this now. I don't want to accidentally fall off trying to be cocky, trying to be cheesy in my celebratory stance. Ooh, 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 ooh. I shot into the wild blue. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Red coins on the floating aisle. I'm not going to do that one. So let's just jump straight to a five and six. Uh. There's a shortcut on doing this one, and there's a long way to doing this one. I'm going to do the long way. I'm going to talk to Mr. Owl. How many looks does it take to get into the center of a Tucci Roll Tucci Pop? I don't know, but oh, look at Again, imagine your mom. I'll be saying that a lot. You can actually control the owl, I think. Can I control the owl? Yes, I'm controlling the owl. A little hard to control. Let's see. As Mario gets, uh, as we fly, since Mario's pretty heavy, I'm gonna get lower, so let's see if I can get low. I'm, that's the start, as you can see, I'm gonna... Uh, yes! Oh, come on, Owl! 
Mr. Owl. Okay, let's try the shortcut way. The shortcut way is just to blast your way in. But knowing me, I'm going to die. So let's actually not do it. I'm going to try once. See if I can get lucky. But no, I was... I was right there, you guys saw me. I was there and I just freaked out. Okay, uh... Right here looks good. What? Oh, that is lame. And of course, the power of money will heal you. Money does heal you. Mario just proved it to me right now. So, next time you're, you're uh, troubled, next time you're feeling down, and you feel like money doesn't solve all the problems, it does fix some of the pain. And too low. And is that another life lost? That is another life lost. Uh, let's zoom right back into it. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. I remember back in the last star I said that the shooting into the wild blue was the hardest one? I don't know. I might have been talking too soon. Maybe this is the hardest one. That's one strong owl to carry a fully grown man. How tall is Mario, by the way? He looks really small in this game. Maybe he's actually, maybe he's only like two foot. He only looks like he's two foot. He doesn't look that big. Okay, I will, I will tell you how many licks it takes to get into the center of a Tucci Roll Tucci Pop, but you have to drop me in this cage. Momentum for the win. I took physics in high school and I just got my star. Mr. Owl, ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I have enough. I have eight stars, so I could technically fight Bowser right now if I wanted to. But I'm not going to. What was that? Oh, I forgot what that one was called. It was like tra trapped in the cage closet or something like that. Uh, fall into the sky and the... Yeah! Another thing just floating randomly in the air. You saw me having to cannonball my way to the first world. There was a star that's like a, the, the floating island. And then you got a floating cage right now. It's like, Mario World, you're not making any sense. Alright, this one's a little bit easier. I actually found this one by accident when I was a child. And by that, I mean, actually, most of these stars, uh, I learned because I watched my older cousin play this. When I was five, this game came out. It was either my first or second game that I got as a child. This in Madden 2000, not 2000, 95, I think it was. So I got a Madden game and this. These were my first games. And my cousin, I don't even know how old he was. He in high school, might have been in middle school. I don't know. He was old enough to actually know what he was doing in these games. I, I wasn't. I just knew yellow, shiny, win. That's what I wanted. But I saw him strategizing. I watched him play a lot. So that's a, how I know how to get most of these stars. Actually, I, again, you probably heard me allude to it last yeah, you saw the last one was the red corn, so I'm not going to do that one just yet. But you heard me allude to it last episode. I beat this game, all 120 stars. What's the next world? Is it the freeze one? It's the water one. The water one's the next one, so let's go to the water one. I got all 120 stars. Some of it was by luck, some of it was by watching, some of it was by just knowing what to do, figuring it out on my own. But, long story short, I am here. I have nine stars now, and I actually don't like this world. I don't like any water-based world in the Mario games. Uh, Jolly Roger Bay number three, yes. This world actually, oh my gosh, I think, was it last, what was the one that scared me in the end? Bullet Bill, did Bullet Bill scare me? No, the Chain Shop scared me in the world number one. Here, I actually have bad dreams about the eel we're about to see. All the water pressure. Mario wants to be a good swimmer for him to shed water like that. Look at that. Boom. Aren't quiet. One thing I like is I can do this, and since my feet are technically above water, Mario's technically now holding his breath. I'm not underwater yet. <laughs> Endless supply of Mario breath. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, there's a sunken ship. And the only one. Yeah, I'm gonna do this chronological order. There's another star I could get from down there. And this one was weird because you tr you gotta get this eel out. This eel will not come out and until you leave. So you go right next to it, you say hi to it, you pet it a little bit, give it a name, Mr. Eel, and then you just fly to the surface because you're running out of breath. And as you fly to the surface, because when you're underwater, that's what you do, you fly, not swim. So when you fly to the surface, you all of a sudden get all your power back, and you swim back down, Mr. Eel all of a sudden is out. And it's time for you to go in that little eel hole that he was just in. Tricky, tricky. Alright. There you go. And then you're supposed to enter these treasure chests in some sort of order. Um, 
I'm gonna guess that this one's number one because it's out of the way. Come on. Yes, give me the air bubble. Yes. Uh, this one. Let's go with this one. Yes! And let's go to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. That's not it. Yes! The, song, the, the lyric was to the left, to the left. But I don't need that air bubble. I already know what it is. This is obviously the last one. And let's rush to the front so I don't have to jump over. When I was younger, I used to wonder how the water's going down. But since I know what's going on now, what actually is happening is the ship is no longer sunken it's rising to the surface and that's why the water's going down because that's how the mario evaporation world works all of a sudden if you're out of the water it's just going to disappear cool the water's not going to retain this all disappears so the ship is now above sea and i could start doing some real damage to this world 10 stars not bad i I have time for one or two more stars. Can the eel come out of- Mr. See? This Mr. Eel. It's just super scary. And look, it's a lot happier now. It used to be a little bit depressing with the gray skies. Now the ship is out to play. We're about to get the eel out to play. It's just a happier world now. I hated star number one because it was just so depressing. And again, I don't like the water worlds. I'm not good with Mario and water. I'm good with Mario on land. Actually, and by then, that's kind of debatable. I'm not sure how good you'd say I am with Mario on land. Well, I have 10 stars, so I'm 10 stars good at least. And this one's cool because if you stand next to the eel, Mr. Eel, do you want to come out and play? And he does. See, that's what scared me. He opened up his mouth, and he was just like, ah! And then I had bad dreams that he would eat me or something. Anyway, the eel comes out, and the star is right on his butt. So let's see if I can chase him and get the butt. There it is. Ooh, that actually went a lot faster than I thought because if you don't get him on the initial run You have to chase him and me specifically. I'm terrible with Mario underwater. I would be chasing him for days and hours Possibly even minutes Can the eel come out to play again? Zero coins. I love not getting coins. I Have two lives left 11 stars treasure of the ocean. Oh, this was the easy one back when I was five This was the only star I knew how to get because as you saw Again, in the first couple worlds, depending on the star that you pick, determines how the layout of the world is. For example, if I went back to star number one, that ship would go back down, and the skies would be gray again. And a lot of the stars need the eel to be out. A lot of the stars need for this thing to be... Or okay. What I'm trying to say is, number three is the only star that you can get with... Uh, look, the eel's out to play permanently now, but I'm not about to play with him. This is how you get the third star. You're just going through here. It's the easiest one. We didn't know what to do as children, so we just followed the yellow brick road underwater. Yeah, that's cool. You get the coins underwater, and all of a sudden you get oxygen again. It's I love how this power system works. I wish real life worked that way. And look, if I ever... Actually, let's demonstrate how this thing works. Boom, I get hurt. Oh, man, I need to recover. I don't have any coins. Power of money? That's okay. Power of just living in the water will work. Up where they walk, up where they run. Why would you want to be part of that world when that just... Oh my gosh. That's not good. Whoops. Let's get some power of money. Money heal. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted all that because I know... I don't know the order of this. Nope. Uh, let's try this one. Nope. Let's try the back one. It can't be the front one. Yeah, the front one would have been way too easy. Let's go to the right. Nope. About to restart it. Yep. One, two, three, yep. Of course they're gonna save the front and the most obvious one for last. Give me that star. Number 12. I got number 12. Uh, 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 uh. All right, I think that's a good place to stop right now. Let's see if I could go ahead and not have Mario go to sleep as I take my short little intermission switching through episodes. Um, yeah, I will be our bees if you know what I mean. Mario, don't catch Z's because I will be our bees. Signing off. <laughs>